hi there welcome back in today's video in this tutorial i just want to show you how you can administer iv subtraction so this is iv subtraction one gram in today's video i just want to show you how you can simply reconstitute or dilute iv or im subtraction so that you can administer safely to the patient so before you start make sure you gather all the necessary suppliers that you need to perform the procedure for instance you may need a syringe you will need a 10 ml syringe you will need a 21 gauge needle or a 23rd gauge needle you will need an alcohol swaps you will need a cotton wool you will need a gloves you will need a hand sanitizer so before you start make sure you start by introducing yourself to the patient you explain the procedure to the patient you gain consent to continue make sure first you sanitize your hand Make sure you sanitize your hand first. Then you done the gloves. Make sure you wear gloves first. So make sure you done the gloves first. Then what you do, you get the IV drug medication. Then make sure you have to confirm the name of the drug. That is subtraction for injection. You have to confirm method of reconstruction. You have 10 mils of sterile water for injection and one vial containing the white body of IV or IM subtraction. So you have two instances where you can dilute the drug, either intravenous route or intramuscular injection. So when you want to dilute the drug with the intravenous injection, you are supposed to dilute with 10 mils of sterile water for injection. So in case if you wanted to administer the drug through intravenous route, you are supposed to dilute the drug with 10 mils of sterile water for injection. If you wanted to administer the drug through intramuscular injection, you have to dilute with 4 mils of sterile water for injection. So this is how you are going to dilute the drug in any case, in case if you want to administer either intravenous route or intramuscular route, then you have to check the expiry date of the drug. Make sure you check the expiry date of the drug. Then what you do, you have to open the packaging. So you will find a plastic vial containing 10 ml of cell water for injection and you will find a vial containing the white body of IM or IV subtraction. Then what you do, make sure you get a 10 ml syringe, you remove the syringe from the packaging. You get a 21 gauge needle for you to reconstruct the drug. Make sure you attach the syringe into the needle. Then you put the syringe into the packaging then you get the plastic vial containing the sterile water for injection. You fill it off, you open the plastic vial. Then you get an alcohol swaps. You clean the plastic vial with an alcohol swap at least for 20 seconds. And you allow it to dry for that seconds. You get the syringe together with the needle. You remove the cap of the needle. You insert the needle into the plastic vial. You withdraw all the style for injection from the plastic vial. So this is how you are going to withdraw the style water for injection. You remove any air purple from the syringe. You put the needle back into the cup. Then you get the vial. Make sure you fill it off, you open the vial, then you get an alcohol swaps. Make sure you clean the opening of the vial with an alcohol swaps. Then you allow it to dry for that seconds. You get the syringe, you remove the cap of the needle. You incorporate or transfer the sterile water for injection into the vial.
then you shake the vial gently for the drug to dissolve slowly. Make sure you shake the vial for a while for the drug to dissolve completely. Then what you do, you remove any air purple from the syringe. Make sure you remove any air purple from the syringe. Then you put equal amount of air into the vial first. Then you hold the vial horizontally for you to draw the drug. So this is how you're going to draw the drug from the vial. You pull back the plunger. Make sure you keep the needle in line with the drug to avoid air purple rushing into the syringe. When you finish, you remove the needle from the vial. Make sure you remove any air purple from the syringe. Then you have to put the drug beside to the patient's bed as you label the name of the drug. Make sure whenever you want to administer the drug, Ensure that you have followed the address of drug administration. That is right patient, right drug, right route, right dose, right time, the right reason, and the right documentation. Then you get a cut, <coughs> you get a TNQ, then you apply a TNQ into the patient's hand. You get an alcohol swaps. Make sure you clean the vein with an alcohol swaps. Then you get the drug. Make sure you replace the 21 gauge needle with a fresh 23rd gauge needle. You attach the syringe into the 23rd gauge needle. Then you remove the cap of the needle. Make sure you attach the needle securely, then you administer the drug to the patient. Make sure you retract back the skin for flexibility, the vein to be intact for you. You insert 15 to 45 degree angle into the vein. So this is how you're going to perform. Then you apply pressure on the tip of the needle. You pull back the blanger for you to see a flashback into the syringe. When you see a flashback, you release the TNQ, then you administer the drug safely to the patient.